Split Second is a fast-paced, arcade-style combat racer from 2010 that should fit the very definition of mid-tier gaming for the Steam Deck. While Valve claims it is unsupported, it appears to work great, with one exception. It is locked to 30 FPS. Now, what kind of arcade racer is locked like that? While a 60 FPS patch is available, it is messy to apply on the Steam Deck, and it still can't reach 60 FPS on this little machine. But as you can see, we can get a near rock solid 45 FPS, which makes the game a ton more playable. Let me show you how to pull this off. Stick around. Since the game is still for sale, we're going to be working with the retail Steam copy. The time of this video, the game is $20, and it used to go on sale for $5 frequently, but that hasn't happened in a very long time. Now, the game can be had for well under $10 if you're willing to shop around. Now, since this channel is both about doing and teaching, we need to cover a few things before we get to the tutorial and the configuration of the game for the Steam Deck. Let's start with the disclaimers. This game is protected with anti-tamper technology called Secure ROM, meaning we cannot 60 FPS patch the original Steam provided EXC. The protection has to be removed first. Now there are all sorts of possible implications with this, but since you paid for the game and we're just removing the protection to mod it, most people will have a clear conscience on this one. The 60 FPS patch is a pain in the ass Windows patcher which means it will be difficult on the deck, so I'm gonna provide you with the files pre-patched. This involves a lot of trust, and while I've personally ran the files through malware and antivirus, you would probably be wise to do the same. Fortunately, on the Steam Deck, Windows games are run in sandboxes, so it would be hard for even malignant code to do a whole lot of harm. Finally, last but not least, this patch will break your save files and likely your cloud saves too. If you're really concerned about any of this, back up your saves and the original EXE. Now, if you don't trust me, you can get the protection removal files from a particularly well-known Game World website, and the mod comes from the PC Gaming Wiki community. You could do all the work yourself and then do the tutorial. It's up to you. With the disclaimers out of the way, let's get on with the prerequisites. Obviously, you need to own the game on Steam. It should already be downloaded and run at least once before we do the tutorial. If you have a custom Proton set, removed all force compatibility for the purposes of this tutorial and experiment later with force compatibility. You'll need to download the patched files from one of the links in the description. You only need one of them. The rest of them are mirrors in case one goes down. Great, the rest of this video is in two parts, getting the patched files into the right location and then configuring the game and your deck for optimum play. We'll assume you downloaded the zip file provided from the link below and you've saved it in your downloads folder. From Dolphin, let's right click and extract the archive. There will be two files within. Now open Steam and find the entry for split second. Select the gear, then manage, then browse local files. We'll make sure Dolphin is split into two panes and we'll put the downloads folder on the other side. Copy the two folders over to the game folder. Be sure to overwrite any existing files. Believe it or not, that's it. Now we are ready to configure the game and deck settings to support the higher frame rate. We're going to go off screen because I cannot do odd frame rate capping while recording the video output to the Elgato. Run split second from gaming mode. From the main menu, select options and verify your resolution is set for 1280 by 800. Under quality, set it for very high. Even if you turn this down, you cannot get sustained 60 FPS and the game will feel jerky. I spent a whole hour trying to figure out if I could get 60 and the answer was no. Finally, turn off V-Sync and you're all done. Click on your three dot button, AKA quick access, and scroll down to the performance settings. Check the value use per game profile. And if you're on the OLED, set it for 45 FPS, 90 Hertz. If you're on the LCD, you'll set this for 40 FPS, 40 Hertz. Now you're ready to play. 
While the controller is well supported, you will not see controller glyphs in this game, but that is normal and not something wrong with your particular setup. The controls are pretty standard though, and they work just fine. The game is a damn good time, and playing at 45 FPS over 30 FPS really makes a difference. What do you think? Leave a comment below and tell us if you love this game as much as we do. Well, that's it. If you like what we're doing here, be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, ding the bell on your way out. Our Discord is available at discord.monroeworld.com in channel hashtag steam hyphen deck. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.